Hi everyone, my name is Jess from Coldesi, and today I'll be teaching you guys how to make custom hats using our digital heat effect systems and why I prefer this method. To create our custom hats, we'll be using our Easy Peel two-step paper, heat tape, a Teflon pillow, our flexible finishing sheet, and our three hats here, the Port Authority ladies hat, trucker hat, and the dry fit hat, as well as our ruler to measure everything out. So we have our graphics set up in our print optimizer software, as you can see, and I'm just gonna go ahead and press print. So we're fitting six different copies of each graphic onto one sheet of our 11 by 17 transfer paper. So next we have our marrying process. We're going to be using the Hotronics Fusion heat press. What I'm going to do is lay down our A sheet with our graphics, and we're going to grab a B sheet and set it right on top and take a finishing sheet to protect everything. And we have our heat press at 320 degrees for 75 seconds. We'll remove this top sheet. And as you can see, the polymer from the B sheet only adhered to the toner on the A sheet. We have our Port Authority's Ladies Garment Wash Cap and we have our Teflon pillow that we're going to line up on the bottom platen, and we're gonna use this to line up our hat as well. What this Teflon pillow does is it will help with the loose area we have here at the top of the hat. It'll just tighten it. All right, so we're going to pull the lever down and tighten that on there. Now we're going to take our graphic and a pro tip You'll want to line your graphic up higher than the brim, just so we get a good even pressure. So I'm going to use my heat tape to help with this step. And now I will use my flexible finishing sheet to protect the cap from the press. We've pressed this hat at 320 degrees for 45 seconds because it's cotton. And what we're gonna go ahead and do is take it off of the press and let it cool completely. Now that we let our hat completely cool, we're going to go ahead and rip the transfer off and move on to our finishing step. Now we're moving on to our finishing press, which is going to turn this glossy finish into a matte finish. So it's the same process. You line up your Teflon pillow with your hat to the edge of the bottom platen and pull the lever down so it's nice and tight again. We'll add our flexible finishing sheet to the top of this and we'll press for one last time. We will remove our flexible finishing sheet, pull the lever and our hat is now complete. Now let's talk about why, in my opinion, digital heat effects is one of the best ways to make hats. Now taking a look at these two hats here, compared to heat transfer vinyl, this process is way easier and quicker. The first reason why is because we didn't have to cut each color of the transfer vinyl and line it up perfectly onto the hats. The second reason why is because there's virtually no feel to these transfers on these hats. If we were using heat transfer vinyl, you would be able to feel the bumpiness of each layer. Now, compared to embroidery, digital heat effects worked better with this logo because of the transition of the colors. It would be almost impossible to achieve this look with embroidery. Also, compared to embroidery, like this hat we have here, you can see and feel the stitching on the back, which could be uncomfortable for some. With digital heat effects, we have nothing on the back. If you'd like to know more about creating custom hats with digital heat effects systems, you can go to digitalheatfx.com and live chat with one of our pros.